Hi everyone, I'm Vicki with Thrifty Recipes and in my last video, the perfect hamburger meatloaf video, I made a side dish for a cheesy hash brown casserole. So that's what this recipe is today. And I found it in a comment left on one of Paula Dean's videos where one of her subscribers commented about this this recipe that they would like to share. And what stood out for me was using the cream of mushroom soup because I've always used cream of chicken soup. Also, they sprinkled crushed cornflakes on top. Well, I didn't put crushed cornflakes on top. I put my own spin on it. So keep watching here and I'll show you. For this recipe, I used a one pound, 14 ounce bag of frozen hash browns. And yes, they were frozen. One can of cream of mushroom soup, one cup of sour cream, and one stick or half a cup of butter. We're going to use some, some diced onion, shredded cheddar cheese, and my to be revealed secret topping. Something I've never put on a hash brown casserole before. In a large skillet, melt the butter. I had some diced Vidalia onion in the freezer or add one medium onion diced. Because my onion is frozen, I'm stirring everything to, to thaw the onion and melt the butter. Let's add the one can of cream of mushroom soup undiluted so don't add any water to it. Give everything a good stir. Add some black pepper to your preferred taste. And you can add salt if you'd like. I added about a half a teaspoon, but honestly, I would not add it again because the soup and the cheese has enough salt. And just keep stirring until everything is well blended. Next, we're going to add the sour cream. Do you have one of these metric wonder measuring cups? I find these at garage sales all the time. Nobody seems to want them and I love mine. It's especially great for things like sour cream or peanut butter or mayonnaise. For this recipe, we need one cup of sour cream. See how easy it is to dispense the sour cream compared to scraping it out of a measuring cup? I love this kitchen tool. So leave me a comment. Do you have one of these? Do you use it or not and why? All right, let's stir that sour cream in really well. The hash browns have been sitting out while I prepared the other ingredients, but they're still pretty, pretty well frozen. Dump half the hash browns into the cream of mushroom soup mixture and stir everything around really well. Get it well blended before you add the second half of the bag. Stir everything until all the shredded potatoes are well coated with the cream of mushroom soup mixture. I mentioned cheese earlier in the video. Now it's time to add some cheddar cheese, your preferred sharp or mild, whatever you like. This is finely shredded cheese that I have here today. And I'm going to add one and a half cups of shredded cheese. Again, stir everything very well until it's blended. It's looking good. We're about ready for that casserole dish. At this point, make sure you have your oven preheated at 350. It's recommended to use a 9 by 12 dish. I think the one that I have here might be slightly larger, but it's one of my favorites, and I did spray it with non-stick spray. Dump the hash brown mixture into your baking dish and spread it around evenly. I still have a secret ingredient to put on top, so keep watching here. Into the oven it goes, and we're going to bake it for about 40 minutes, and then we're going to add the topping and put it back in the oven until it's baked for about one hour total. Time for that special topping and what is it? French fried onions. Something that most of us use on our green bean casseroles. I'm going to use these on top of my cheesy hash brown casserole. I mean, how can it not be good, right? So sprinkle it around all over the top and I'm being generous with it. I love these things. To make sure they're spread evenly, you can use a spatula. and back into the oven it goes for another 20 minutes. However, you do want to keep an eye on it because the fried onions can brown quickly. And if they do, just take a piece of foil large enough to cover your baking dish and keep on baking it for the entire hour. Doesn't it look great? I love the crispy onions on top. Everything smells really great and we can't wait to taste it. Now keep in mind, there's only two of us and we enjoy the leftover meal of the meatloaf and the potatoes, and then I was able to freeze up some of the cheesy hash brown casserole made with cream and mushroom soup with fried onions on top. I was able to freeze some up for another day. 
The casserole was really moist, very tasty, definitely different with the cream of mushroom soup. You know, I am so used to the cream of chicken soup. You know, it really is about what flavor profile you prefer. And I love the crispy fried onions on top. So as I said, it was someone else's suggestion, but I put my own spin on it and I hope you give it a try. And if you've already made a cheesy hash brown casserole before, what did you use as a topping? Some people use potato chips. Now I hear about cornflakes. Now you've heard about the crispy fried onions. So what is your favorite topping on your cheesy hash brown casserole? Let me know, leave a comment. Thanks for watching everyone. I'm Vicki with Thrifty Recipes and I'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe.